way bigger right here. You can see they're pounding in. It is getting crazier. I cannot believe it's getting rough and stormy out there. Oh crap, here comes another big one. Oh crap. Yep. Grab it! It's a fun spot. We are going to Hawaii. I'm sorry I have to talk quietly because we are on the airplane right now. We're about to take off. Guess what? We are kind of treating ourselves. First class. We've never flown first class before. This is me and Sarah on this trip together and we are doing first class and this is absolutely crazy. Check this out. Those are my feet stretching out all the way. That has never happened before. Guys, the seat lays all the way flat. Check this out. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Oh my gosh, we're so excited! This is awesome! Hawaii, here we come. What's up, Fun Squad? We are here in Hawaii! Aloha! We did a couple's trip and we rode first class for the first time and it was in amazing. forever. And we it was the best thing. It. We'll never want to go back. Oh my heavens. It was the best thing ever. I loved it. All right, we just made it to the house. Hey. We're just unloading some groceries in our luggage. And we took a little house tour. Right here, check this out. This is the motto of our stay. Welcome to our beach house. That's my motto for tonight. King tide is coming in tomorrow. King tide is like when there's a storm, there's giant waves, and they said it was going to come up and probably hit the house and be underneath the house. So we might have a very eventful night and or day tomorrow. Anyways, we made it. We're excited. And can't wait to see the beach tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we can hear the waves. What's up, Fun Squad? Good morning. All right, we are here now, and check out these waves are getting bigger. Here's Sarah. Okay, they're behind me. Oh. Just got me. <laughs> okay. Sarah's already making a lot of noises, and it's really early in the morning, and other people are sleeping. Look at this gorgeous beach, and not a single person in sight, so kind of cool. Give the whole beach to ourselves, Sarah. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, here comes a good one. Someone's gonna nail me. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. <laughs> we are now running on the beach of Hawaii. That's Sarah over here. And it's extra hard because the sand is so deep. Normal run, I can go 20, 30 minutes, no big deal. I know that's not very impressive to most people. But in this deep sand, you can only go a few minutes and you have to walk for a minute. It's so dang hard. Okay, walk down. Sarah and I set our New Year's resolutions, our goals. Like most people, part of it was to work out a lot and to run a lot to eat better. And so far, I'm a couple weeks into it and I have to admit, I'm kicking butt. Doing pretty good. I feel amazing. I'm so much better than I've ever felt. And I have to say, it's all because of hitting goals and following through with them. Anyways, I can barely talk. Here's my favorite. It's a hole in the wall, but it is seriously the best dang food anywhere in the world. All right, here we are. Got our food. Got our burrito. Here's my beautiful burrito right there. And we are here at the Haleiwa Beach Park. Beautiful park. Beautiful beach. And we're here with all these other fun people staring at the giant waves and nobody is out surfing today. It must be too big and too choppy. Okay, we're sitting there eating our breakfast and a lifeguard comes by and he's telling these other people that are sitting on the beach that they better watch out because they're too close to the ocean a wave could come in and get them. And then he said that on Saturday, so in two days, they expect the waves to come over and into the parking lot. So let me show you what that means. See where the water is over here? He said it got up, up this high earlier today in high tide, but just over here is the parking lot. So it's going to go clear over here into the parking lot. So you already saw where we're staying at our house, and there were waves crashing under our house this morning. So I'm a little bit nervous that we maybe get washed out to see Brandon. I think we're going to be safe, but we will be on high alert. Now we're out for an evening walk on the beach, and we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. All right, we are here at Waiamea Bay. Waiamea Bay. Here's my wifey. Not paying attention, let's try that again. Here we are at Waiamea Bay. Here's my beautiful wifey. Oh, she's looking that time. There we go. Check this out, these are monster waves. It's really fun to come and swim in the water here. Over there, there's a big rock. Kind of see it, and it's fun when it's calmer. It's fun to go cliff jumping off of that. It's about 30, 35 feet high. Straight out here, there are a bunch of surfers, and there's a gigantic surf spot. In fact, maybe you'll see one right here. And here comes another big one right behind it. Somebody surfing out there, I don't know if you can see it. Those are big monster waves. They look like they're about 15, 20 feet high today, but sometimes it gets like 30, 40 feet high here. It gets like crazy big. Anyways, but all these fun waves right here, they're a little too big. The lifeguard said nobody should be out today. And these guys are rule breakers. Here we go. <laughs> here we go, rule breaker.
I'm having fun with a stranger who has no idea what I'm doing back here. Anyways, these waves behind us are very fun. It's this gigantic, gorgeous beach, Waimea Bay. If you haven't been here, you need to come. And here at Waimea, it gets a pretty big wave. They're not giant today. They're like 15 feet high, but they get up to like 30, 40, uh, I think like 30 feet out here. And that's way too big for me. I learned my lesson. I've been on two really big waves in my life. I got really scared both times because I biffed it both times. Both of them are about 20 feet high. I've told people in the past, that they were 30 feet high. But in all honesty, because this is on YouTube and I tell the truth, they were 21 feet high. <laughs> I measured that. My comfort zone is like my waist high to my head high. That's a really fun wave for me. But I actually have a really fun video that we took for bad kids. Pretty good sized wave. I, th I think it was like a couple feet over my head. And I'll show you guys here in a second, but it was pretty dang fun. We totally, we were on like perfect conditions, gorgeous waves this one day. Sarah's there. Sarah's a pretty good little surfer. Anyways, the video I'm about to show you has some pretty big waves that we were on. I'm gonna show you a clip of, it's kind of funny of me biffing it pretty hard. It's kind of fun. This is Brandon running on water. Yeah, we call this one running on water. All right, roll the clip. I woke up this morning. Today's the big day with all the big waves coming in. There are some giant monster waves coming in out there. It doesn't seem too crazy, but if you look at the beach right here, there's like tons of debris all over. If you look down there, there's some big giant rocks that got washed up on shore, which is kind of crazy down in there. But I just woke up and it was going underneath this house right next to us over in here. And the water is definitely going underneath our house right below me here. You can see the sand is all wet. But what's crazy is I'm up here on this sidewalk here too. It looks like a wave already hit up here. So let me show you right here, right up there. bigger right here you can see they're pounding in it is getting crazier i cannot believe it's getting rough and stormy out there looks like there's more waves coming there's a big one about to hit us right here so check this out this is getting a little creepy here it comes right now that's a lot of water oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh it's literally going under the house right here it is crazy i think i'm gonna go down on the beach probably not supposed to. No, you're not. You're not. I'm going to go check out what it looks like underneath the house. So. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got to be brave. All right, I'm being careful. Y'all right there. That's where some waves had already come up this morning. Earlier today, where the waves came all the way up here. All right, super crazy. I can't believe he's doing this. It's like we're in between sets, so we're good for a minute. I'm probably like 15, 20 feet higher than the water line. But it literally came up just past me right here. Anyways, I'm going to come check this out over here. Here's our house. Here's down below. So this house has like these stilts that it's on. Down below here, the water's literally like just gushing up underneath this house over here. Kind of crazy. Brandon! Brandon! Oh my gosh, he's so crazy. Brandon! Brandon! Come out! Courage over fears, right? <laughs> so these look okay. Looks like right here, this piece of wood is not looking so good. It's kind of falling off a little bit. Well, that's a little crazy. A couple of these little pier things look like they're kind of giving way a little bit. But if we get some big waves in here, like these things are just going to start toppling down. I'm going to turn the camera around. You can see a whole bunch of these sticks and debris and stuff. This has all been washed up by the ocean and these big waves right up here. So you can see this stuff. Here's a log right here. Great big log. I'm just going to sit on this log for the next set of big waves that come in. It looks like there's some big waves coming in. So giddy up. Here we go. Oh crap. Here comes another big one. All right. I think this is a big one. Oh, yeah. Brandon! Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that was a big one. That was a little spooky. Get inside! Get inside now! Alright, now he's just being foolish. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay. Come on! Crazy! Thank you for finally listening. I'm not young and limber as I used to be. Alright, we're on the deck again. That was a little spooky down there. We're all we're both safe. We decided to go out on a hike today because we were sick of being stuck at our house there. Basically, you see this mountain behind me back there? A big, beautiful green mountain right there. We're gonna, supposedly there's some hike on this mountain right here that we are going on. So we packed our backpack. We don't have a backpack in this app, but we have to use our Walmart shopping bag. Supposedly it's like a seven mile hike and it looks beautiful and gorgeous. We'll see how much of the seven hours we can do. We'll do three tenths of a mile and then we'll turn around and come back because we'll be huffing and puffing. So when you get to the clip,
clip of me walking up this mountain going. Oh dear. I think it's time to go back. All right, we're on this hike. Check out these like crazy rocks. I don't know if there's a rock slide right here or this is just what the whole mountain looks like. All right, we're on this hike and it feels like we're like halfway or so, but check out how dang steep this is. This is crazy. It like literally goes straight down and it's like all these rocks. So if you stepped on the wrong rock, it could definitely like drop it down on somebody down below you. It's a little crazy. All right, we made it to the trail. Here we go. Heading up, heading up. Look at these giant rocks that have fallen off the mountain. There's lots of them. We will keep our eyes open. All right, we're getting higher. Look how far down the ocean is down there. That's pretty dang cool. It's beautiful and it's hot. So you were making fun of me that I would be huffing and puffing. I know. It's okay. It's sounds like steady, you're the one. I mean, look at how much. Sounds like you're the one huffing and yes. puffing. Check this out. This is like a straight cliff though. We got this gorgeous view as we're walking of all of this ocean side and the beaches and everything down there below us. We're getting higher. Sarah's blocking with her camera. Look how high we are. It's getting up there. Doing good there, Bear? I am. It's fun. Awesome. We are getting really, really high up here. It's pretty cool. And it's like a cliff. That's pretty straight down right there. So, really, really fun hike. Oh, it's crazy now. I barely walk. It is like crazy windy right here. It was like gorgeous weather like an hour ago. And now this giant storm is coming in. I can barely like a wind tunnel right here, it's so crazy. All right, it's 3 a.m. I can't sleep, so I came out here to see the waves. All right, Fun Squad, it is another day. I told you guys last night about the crazy storm that came in. It kind of stinks, it's on our last couple of days here. We got a big storm that came in, and it's been mega windy, mega stormy last night. The power went out, it was a little bit crazy, and it's just been kind of blah all day today, off and on. Tons of wind, tons of rain. Things are pretty big out there, they're kind of crazy. Nothing as huge as the other day. Anyways, kind of hung out, we went for a drive, and looked around. We can't really go on any hikes during this kind of uh, storm because there's flash flood warnings. You don't want to be on a hike when uh, flash floods or rock slides or things like that. A little dangerous. But this is what beautiful Hawaii looks like when it's stormy and rainy. Not always gorgeous weather, but I am kind of weird maybe. I still love it when it's like this. It's fun to watch the waves. I love watching the waves and the storm and the wind and everything. I don't know. It's still kind of cool. I really like 